week, everyone. I hope you are safe at home and stay healthy with your family, okay? Okay, so without wasting any more time, we'll come for our lesson for today. And I would like to talk about having fun, our new topic for today, okay? Three. Right now, sing a song. Having fun. I am running, you are jumping, and you're hitting the ball. We are having fun together, we are playing volleyball. Sue is dancing, Pete is singing, and he's playing the guitar. Sam and Matt are playing tennis, they are having lots of fun. Okay, everyone, so you have been listening to the song just now, right? Okay, well, I would like to touch only a little about grammar focus a bit, okay? The grammar focus here is about present continuous tense. Why? Present continuous tense. It's okay, kids. It's easy. You just need to remember what I have told you in class regarding singular nouns, which is he, she, it. And then the plural nouns. They, we, you. Easy, right? Remember that, okay? Singular is only one. And plural is more than one. Do you still remember what I've told you in class? What is the verb to be for singular and plural nouns? It's okay if you can't remember. Let's discuss together. For singular nouns, he, she, it, we must use is. And for plural nouns, they, we, and you, we must use are. Just remember that. Is and are. Oh uh oh, what about I? Hmm. For I is special. We use M. I am. Remember? Okay, let's try. For example, song just now, having fun. We can see lots of verbs are used there, right? The present continuous tense. R is M. And the ing form. Remember, when there is is, r or m in front of the verb, we need to add ing at the end of the verb. It's okay, everyone. Let's discuss the examples. Let's see the song just now. The first sentence there I am running, you are jumping. See? We can see the verb there. I am running. That's the example that I said that just now we need to put ing after the verb. The root word for running is run. But when there is M in front of the run, we need to put ing. Uh oh, don't forget we need to double M. Remember? R U N N I N G. I am running. I am running. Okay, the next example is You are jumping. You are jumping. Ha. You, the plural noun, we need to put R. You are. Never write U is or U M. It's wrong. We need to put U. Are okay, you are running. You are running. Understand? Okay, the next example is the second sentence in this song just now. And you're hitting the ball again. I am running, you are jumping, and you're hitting the ball. So, you're hitting the ball in the sentence refers to the I and G after hit. You are hitting. You are hitting is the same as you are hitting. It's just the same. 
But you're hitting here is the short form. You are. You are is the short form for you are. But it's okay, don't worry, just the same. You are hitting the ball is just the same as you're hitting the ball. Next. We are having fun together, we are playing volleyball. Okay, so that's the other next example. We are having fun together, we are playing volleyball. We can see that we, we must use are. Remember, we, we must use are. And then have, the root word is have, but we just put I and G. We are having. We are having fun together. We are playing volleyball. Easy, right? Hmm. Let's find the other example in the next stanza of the song. Good luck! Sue is dancing, Pete is singing, and he's playing the guitar. Sam and Matt are playing tennis. They are having lots of fun. Class, have you found the example? Easy, right? <laughs> Let's try together. Sue is dancing, Pete is singing, and he's playing the guitar. Sam and Matt are playing tennis, they're all having lots of fun. Okay, so can you see? There are lots of verbs in the stanza. First of all is, Sue is dancing. Sue is dancing. Okay, so you can see Sue is singular noun. Why? Because Sue is a singular noun. Because Sue is only one person. Remember, when there is only one person, we consider it as singular noun. Remember, singular noun. One person, one thing, one animal or one object. If there is only one, it is singular noun. Sue is dancing. Sue is dancing. Yes, because Sue is singular now, we must use is. Is. So, Sue is dancing. Dance is the root word. Menari. We put ing because there is is in front of the dance. Sue is dancing. And the next one is, Pete is singing. Pete is singing. One person. So, he is also a singular noun. Pete is singing. Pete is singing. For sing, we just put ing. So, it's become he, Pete is singing. Pete is singing. Alright? So, Sue is dancing, Pete is singing, and he's playing the guitar. Hmm. He's playing the guitar. He's playing the guitar. Okay? So, he's there referred to, he is. Just the same. It's a short form for he is. He's playing the guitar is just the same as he's playing the guitar. Easy, right? Sam and Matt are playing tennis. They are having lots of fun. Again? Sam and Matt are playing tennis. They are having lots of fun. So, you can see. Sam and Matt are more than one. There are two people there. Sam and Matt. Sam and Matt. Two people in the sentence. So, we need to use are. Sam and Matt are playing tennis. Are playing tennis. They are having lots of fun. They are having lots of fun. They is also a plural noun. So, R again for D. They are having lots of fun. Okay class, that's all for today. I hope you can remember all the lessons we have learned just now. Okay class, so based on our lesson just now, let's try to do the exercise in your workbook, page 18. Page 18. Our topic for today is right now. So,
sekarang. Just like what I've said just now regarding present continuous tense. It's happening right now. Sekarang. Okay, so look and write M, R or is. And try to do number two as well. Look, follow the lines and write. As the example there, number one, they. They are playing volleyball. Good luck! See you tomorrow, inshallah. Bye-bye.